Hello there and welcome back to episode 5 of A Weekly Catch Up With Freaky Killers. In fact it's the last ever episode of A Weekly Catch Up With Freaky Killers because I'm changing the name of the episode and if you want to know why stay tuned in this episode I will tell you more. So yes, as mentioned in the intro for this video, I'm actually changing the name of the entire show. So if you guys are wondering why I'm changing the name of the show, it is as follows. So when I first created the show and I pumped out episode one, my original plan was to upload one episode to YouTube every Monday at 6pm and then all of a sudden I was having some help from an experienced YouTuber and who wants to remain anonymous so I'll appreciate that but you know who you are and I know you're watching this video um, but yeah pretty much he said go out and put out as many episodes a week as you can so that's where the everyday episodes came from but then pretty much so that's why I've now had to change the name from weekly and I'm going to call it something different so if you guys want to know what the name of the new show is going to be make sure you watch episode 6 because I have a complete category in that episode where we talk about the new name and more in detail as to why and how I chose the name for it. So pretty much at the moment as things stand I've been uploading this show to YouTube every day for about the last three or four days now. At the moment it's fairly easy for me to do, I don't know how long I can keep it up. I'll keep it up as long as I can. I enjoy uploading every day and I enjoy getting your guys' comments, which I have started actually doing. It's been helping people find and subscribe to my channel, which is a really good thing, and I've had nothing but good feedback about the show. People have been saying another great edit, love the show, and for episode 5, and it's the first episode I've done it, I've actually borrowed a camera. So, soon, if I continue using this camera, soon I shall make a tech video, I'll do an updated version, I made one a long time ago, I'll do an updated version and I'll put the camera in there and I will give you guys links where you can buy it, it's not actually mine, it belongs to a family member, I asked them and they said I could use it for filming, so it's pretty cool and I was actually comparing clips on the computer earlier, as I was testing it out so I didn't even know how to use it, but I was comparing clips on the computer earlier on and pretty much the sound quality sounds so much better on the camera than it does on the old iPhone that I've been using. So if this works out, I'll be using the camera, hopefully if the owner allows me to, I'll be using the camera a lot more for my YouTube videos in the future. So yes, recently I've been Loving a drink of water, and I bought some Evian bottles from Morrison's um, the other day. I've now had a total of 18 bottles of water from them, and they are really nice. Um, it's really nice to drink water. I've never taken up to drinking water like this ever, so to be able to just know that I'm getting a good drink is good enough for me. I know I'm paying for it, but it's actually making me drink more, so in the long run, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, pretty much. I was only able to get one pack of six yesterday. I wanted 12, but obviously they didn't have them in stock. So I had to pretty much use what there was on the shelf there when I went shopping last night. So the next topic I actually want to talk to you about isn't really a topic, it's more of a website. And the website is Crowdfire. I'll make sure it's in the description of the video below. Pretty much what Crowdfire allows you to do is unfollow people that aren't following you on Twitter. But the main thing I've been using it for as of late, and it has been helping in some respects, okay, actually the two subscribers I gained were through Crowdfire, so thank you Crowdfire, it really has helped. Basically what you do is you type in a message that you want to appear on your YouTube channel, or your, no, sorry, your Twitter channel, every time someone follows you back or they follow you. It then automatically sends them a message saying, oh hey, you just followed me, come and check my YouTube channel out. You can pretty much type whatever you like and it then gives them a link and it encourages them more, I think personally, to go and check your channel out other than anything else. Now I've seen a few that have said channel links in the bio 
to my profile and I don't like that because it means I, I then have to go to their bio and have a look for it. If, if I want to look at someone's channel I want the link to be there, I don't want to go have to go off and have a look for it as this takes time out of my day and for me by the time I've skipped on I'm not even at their bio so it really is a waste of time me going through their profile to look for their YouTube channel link. So the final point in today's video would have to be you guys and I just wanted to on video and on camera publicly thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. Now when I say support I mean the views and the like rating since this series has started have gone up considerably so I used to be getting say 2-3 to three likes and 2-3 to three dislikes and no comments between no comments and three comments. Now I think every episode has got at least two to or three comments on it and it's all got like three likes but no dislikes. So I'm trying to up the quality of these videos, hence the camera I've borrowed. And pretty much I want to try and make my YouTube channel a really nice place for you guys to come and view content. And I hope, really do hope you have enjoyed watching all my videos so far and I hope and pray you enjoy my future videos because as I said in the last episode giving up is the easy way out if you want something in life you have to work hard for it and pretty much I see that to be very true in life as a whole if you don't want something enough you're going to give up if you give up what was the point in starting it in the first place so thank you for watching episode 5 of a weekly catch up with Freaky Killers the last ever episode as I said at the beginning of a weekly catch up with Freaky Killers there is a new name coming next week next episode sorry so pretty much what I'm gonna do is it will still be episode 6 and 7 and 8 I won't go back to the beginning I'm just gonna change out the name and I'm gonna change out the thumbnail a little bit just so that it looks right and it looks all professional now just before I go I wanted to clear one point up about a video that I changed last night when I was on my YouTube channel so pretty much what I did was I looked at the thumbnail and I didn't think it was in sync. It was the series I've been doing at the moment. I didn't think that the episode 1 thumbnail was in sync with all the other thumbnails. So what I actually did in the end was went to my editing software where I edit all my pictures out and I put a 1 behind the text. And for me personally, I now feel it looks better than it did. So yes, thank you for watching. Hope you're all okay. Stay safe, be happy, and I will see you in episode 6.